The film story starts at an airport where we see a girl going on her flight, the plane was on the runway. People were coming and everything was normal. But how dangerous this flight is going to be, we will get to know in a while. Now that girl was coming in the plane and setting her luggage but she was not able to place her luggage. That's why the other passenger sitting next to her helps her and with this, the conversation starts between them. The plane had also taken off, they both talk and the girl introduces herself as a model. The man who was sitting next to her introduces himself as a musician and the girl remembers something. She says, a while ago, I had a friend, he was also a musician named Gabriel. Now as he hears the name Gabriel, he says I remember this name very well. I had launched music for a man of this name many years ago which was cheap and lopped badly and I had insulted him a lot. The girl says to him, are we talking about the same Gabriel? Because at that time he was my friend. The man asks, is his full name Gabriel Pasternak? The girl says, yes. Hearing this, another bad woman gets up from her seat. She was a teacher and says Gabriel has been my student, who kept failing in everything that's why I remember him. Because in my 30 years of experience, I have not seen a worse student than him. Here another boy says. Yes, I also know Gabriel, he used to study with me and he was famous for his stupidity. That's why we used to make a lot of fun of him. The teacher says, isn't it strange that in the same plane, a lot of people are talking about the same man. Then another man gets up from behind and says, I also know Gabriel, he used to work for me. He was a very psycho person that's why I fired him. The musician was also suspicious so he gets up and looks back and asks all the passengers on the plane who knows Gabriel? The surprising thing was everyone raised their hands because somewhere, sometime, he met Gabriel and knew him. Now the musician asks did everyone sitting here buy this flight ticket themselves? Here another surprising thing comes in front that no one bought this flight ticket themselves, someone got a gift and someone's company gave it here. The teacher says, I also thought of cancelling this flight but I was strictly told to come that day. That the air hostess hears everything and comes and tells them that Gabriel Pasternak you are talking about. He is the cabin chief of this flight today and I also have a relationship with him in my old life. We used to train together and one day he proposed to me, he wanted to marry me but I refused him. Later, he became my senior, today he is on this plane, I also didn't want to come but I had to come today because he is my head. The worrying thing is that he went to the pilot section a while ago but hasn't come back yet and none opened the door. Apart from this, both pilots are not answering. The musician gets worried and says, this means the people present here have done wrong with Gabriel. But he asks that model girl, you were his friend, right? What wrong did you do? She says, Gabriel used to like me but I like his friend so I cheated on him. Now the friend with whom he cheated Gabriel was also present on this plane. Then the plane starts shaking and everyone gets scared and an old man gets up and goes to the toilet section. He calls Gabriel and says, please open the door, here, he tells his relationship with Gabriel. That I am a brain doctor when Gabriel got worried about everything, he used to come to me for his treatment. But later, I increased my fees and then Gabriel stopped visiting but I found out while treating him. That his mental condition was bad because of his parents because they never treated him well. Now he calls him and says, you can't take revenge on us because your parents are responsible for your life. But the plane was going down, Gabriel made a huge plan to take revenge on the people responsible for ruining his life. His parents were not on that plane. Everyone was screaming in fear and the plane was going down to the city. Then we see an old couple sitting in their garden and they see a plane coming from above. That was coming toward them and we find out the old couple were Gabriel's parents. He crashes the plane on them while bringing it down. Gabriel's revenge was so terrible. After this, we are shown another story we see a businessman named Diego. He was going somewhere regarding his business which was a desolate road. His car, music. Everything was going well. Then suddenly another car comes in front of his car that was moving slowly. Diego presses his car's horn again and again and says to give way but it wasn't moving away from his front. Diego now goes to the side and sees a man sitting in that car who is strange. 
Now he says ill to him and moves ahead of his car and also shows him his middle finger. Diego's car was at a high speed but moving forward, Diego started driving at his speed. But suddenly his car's tire gets punctured. He parks his car near a pole and no one could be seen from here. On top of that, Diego also fought with a man from behind, he had another tire but he didn't know how to install it. That's why he calls a mechanic but he tells him to come after an hour. Now Diego was trying to install the tire but before he could install the tire and fix all his screws. That same old car comes there which was bothering him from behind. Diego got scared that's why he quickly mows and sits in his car. The man sitting in the other car comes in front and stops his car and comes near Diego. He was scared of that man and says, forgive me I shouldn't have said anything bad to you. But that man was furious and starts breaking the glass of his car with a wrench. Diego gets scared and calls the police but there was no network. He was not satisfied by breaking the glass and was doing even more wrong things. Diego feels bad seeing all of this, when that man sits in his car, he starts his car from the back with the hand pull tire. And pushes his car because of this, his old car falls into the pool and he also becomes injured. Then Diego was leaving but his anger was still not cooled and turns his car back to that man. And tries to kill him but before he could do anything Diego's tire was open. His car also falls into the pool but that man comes in his car and beats him a lot and also ties his neck to the seat belt. That man's anger was not calmed yet so he sets the petrol tank on fire so that Diego dies there. As he was going, Diego comes from behind and grabs his leg because of which both of them got stuck in the car. Diego's mechanic also comes there but then there is a huge explosion in which Diego and that man died. When that mechanic calls the police, they come and put out the fire. They see in the car their skeletons were left only. As they were sitting in the police officer sees them and says maybe they were trying to save each other. But they did not know that they had killed each other in the fire of revenge. So this lesson is for all of us, if we ignore small mistakes in our life, we can be saved from huge problems. Like if Diego had ignored that crazy man then all this wouldn't have happened to him today. After this, we see the third story of an engineer named Simon who used to bomb and blow up big, big, useless buildings. Today was an ordinary day and Simon gets a call from his wife who asks him to bring a cake at home. Because it is our daughter's birthday. Now Simon stops his car near a bakery and goes to get the cake but in the meantime, his car was taken by the company. Because they believed that he had parked his car on the wrong place, it wasn't allowed to park there. He now takes a taxi to the tax authority's office and says there wasn't his fault, why was my car picked up without a fault? So I will not give you any fine or fine. The rest of the people there were also saying the same thing but the man who was taking fine says sir, you will have to pay the fine. Otherwise, you will have to pay more money, Simon had no other option so he pays the fine and gets his car picked up. Due to traffic, Simon could not reach home quickly and at home. His daughter celebrates her birthday with a small pastry. When he comes home, his wife was upset with him because Simon always believed our government does not work honestly. And he was stuck in all this. The next day he goes to the government office to complain about the wrong charges but the government officer says. You have to pay your fine at any cost. After hearing this, Simon becomes furious and attacks him and the people standing there were encouraging him. But in the meantime, the police come and arrest him. After a while, Simon's friend goes to the police station and gets him released. But now this news was also published in the newspaper due to this, he is also fired from his job. His wife also files a divorce case and he does not even get custody of his daughter because he didn't have a job. He was not getting any job. One day again, the company picks up his car although this time it was not his fault. This time, he quietly gets his car released without saying anything but because of all this, he was enraged. Because of them, his job, family, his future and everything was ruined. He wakes up one night and makes some changes in his car and the next morning, parks his car in a no parking place. He wanted the company to take his car and it happens the same but as they pick up his car and puts it in their garage. There was a huge blast. The company's office, the cars around it. Everything was destroyed and this has become big news. How a common man raised his voice against the government, 
Simon had become a savior among the common people. Now, this incident was a few months ago but Simon was in jail and today was his birthday. His wife and daughter bring a cake for him means his daughter and wife had also decided to live with him. Everyone respects Simon in jail and with this, the third story also ends. Simon's tale teaches us not to stoop low in front of people without justification. Even if we aren't at fault, we should raise voice for our rights. So which story did you like among these three? Do tell us.